Hi all, welcome back to our channel and our kayaking adventures. Today's May 3rd, it's a Sunday, and we are going to meet up with Zorntech at Horseshoe Boat Ramp, paddle another 10 miles of the French Broad River today. We usually go on Saturday, but um, we decided we had too many errands to run yesterday, so we decided to make it a Sunday trip, and fortunately Zorntech can join us. <music> We arrived at Horseshoe about 12.45. There are already numerous cars parked and several people launching their kayaks from the boat ramp. It was a very busy time of the day. The temperatures were in the high 70s or low 80s. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know the high was expected to be 84 degrees and it's fairly warm. It appeared everyone was taking advantage of the fantastic weather and were anxious to be out of their house for a little while. Once parked, I started unloading our kayaks. Just as I finished unloading, Zorntex arrived and we unloaded his kayak. Our plan once the kayaks were unloaded was to drop off his car at the Westfelt Park, then come back, get out on the river, and enjoy 11 miles of the French Broad River. We had paddled this section last year, and Zorntex accompanied us on that trip too. That trip was full of good times, and I expected no less from this adventure. I also had a new paddle to try out. We had found it on the river while cleaning up the small section of the French Broad River on Earth Day. It was a nice reward for keeping the river clean. The paddle was a bit longer than my other paddle, which was also another paddle that we had found in the river. Both paddles were much nicer than the paddle I had originally purchased, so I didn't mind using them. This paddle was 250 centimeters. My white one was 220 centimeters. I was curious how a longer paddle would feel on the water. There was a nice current, so I wouldn't have to use it very hard. It was a good chance to test it out, and from what I could tell, I did like having a bit longer paddle. Back when we decided to get kayaks, I tried to find out what the recommended paddle length I should get. Based on my findings, I bought what I thought was the right size. However, my original paddle was way too short. It bumped the sides of my kayak with every stroke. I ended up taking that paddle back and getting the longer one, which I was much happier with. When we found the white one, it was the same size as the one I had been using, just much lighter. The first time using that white paddle, I realized how much nicer a lighter paddle is. If it is one thing I recommend when you pick up kayaking as a hobby, make sure you get a nice paddle. It makes things so much easier. We weren't in the water very long before we caught up and passed some other kayakers that were floating down the river. They were drinking adult beverages and having a good time. It was nice to see other people out on the water enjoying themselves, even if their choice of music was terrible. While I do enjoy a good tune, when out on the river, I'd much prefer the relaxing sounds of the rippling water. Up ahead, we saw some people at the Lazy Otter Outfitters Takeout. Since Lazy Otter was closed due to the pandemic, I assume they had stopped to take a break. One person saw my cameras and asked about my channel. He was a YouTuber himself. When he asked how many subscribers I had, I said 50. He must have thought I meant 50,000. I've got a long way to go before I hit that number, though. I got you. Between my 50,000 and your 50,000, we ought to get to 100,000 already. Subscribe to... Yay! Kayak 7 Seas! Already! Jeez, what are you waiting for? Yeah. And, and check out Viking with Bobo. Viking with Bobo. If you like kayak, you like Viking. So, yeah, there you go. So, check out Viking with Bobo for your mountain biking content. He seems like a great guy, and 50,000 subscribers can't be wrong. Speaking of YouTube, my friend Zorntek is thinking of making some hiking videos, so watch for those videos coming out on his channel shortly. You might want to subscribe to his channel. So you can be the first to watch them. But yeah, but we're not always finding stuff on all our It was really nice that the leaves are back on the trees, especially when kayaking in the later part of the day. The leaves offer some shade from the sun and really make you feel more isolated from society while out on the river. The Friday before this trip, Buncombe County announced that they would be reopening the river access parks, which would give us access to some of the takeouts we need to complete our journey. After completing this section, we will have three more trips to complete our goal from Westfelt Park to Bent Creek River Access, then from Bent Creek to Craven Street Bridge Access, and finally from Craven Street to Woodfin Riverside Park. Once that is complete, we will revisit our plans and see if we want to try the Class 2 Rapids and paddle into Marshall, North Carolina. But for now, we will just enjoy the moment.
As today's adventure came to an end, it was nice to see so many people out on the water enjoying life's simple pleasures. As we begin to end this quarantine and life returns to normal, simple pleasures like kayaking the river for us will remain. As the weather warms, I encourage you to get out in nature and see what it has to offer. Maybe go for a hike on a trail, paddle the river in a kayak or canoe, or relax on a beach and listen to the waves crash and the birds squawk. Either way, it's nice to get out and get some fresh air. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed our time on the water today. Tap that like button if you can, and join Team Kayak 7 Seas by subscribing to this channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and watch some of our past adventures. I hope to see you out on the water someday.